What's the secret to success? Balancing your technical skills and your softer skills. Well, I would say calling them softer skills devalues them a bit. Your emotional and social intelligence, or EQ and SQ, matter more as you rise up the technical ranks, if you're in engineering or really any technical profession. Why do I say this? You need to understand yourself, you need to understand your technical capabilities, and most importantly, you need to understand how your group operates. You need to be paying better attention to yourself as well as your group. And you need to be doing this not from a purely technical perspective. You need to be doing this from more of an emotionally and socially calibrated way. So do you understand your emotions? Do you have a high level of self-awareness and self-regulation? So you're aware of your emotions and you're regulating them in a healthy way? Okay, perfect. Do you have a high level of empathy to where you can understand where your team members are coming from and you listen to them to understand their position? You don't have to pry with them to know what's going on in their life, but if they wanna engage in small talk and you can get more output from them, if you engage in small talk with them, then that sounds like something you should probably do. So if you start paying better attention to your group using empathy, you also can start paying better attention using social intelligence traits of social attunement, empathic accuracy, so you can start to really almost read people's minds. And you can see when you're getting there, when you're actively listening to someone and you almost catch yourself finishing their sentences. This is a crazy thing that I've recently started to see myself doing. I have to catch myself from cutting people off by finishing their sentences for them now, which is semi-ironic, but my level of active listening has gotten to the point where I'm understanding exactly what they're trying to say to the point where sometimes I can articulate it better than they can, which I take great pride in being able to do that, but I also acknowledge that I shouldn't be stepping on the other person in the conversation and giving them room to breathe and get their point across. So this is something where, oh, see, look, I'm paying attention. Look at this awareness that I have. This is something that I had to grow. I didn't have this. As engineers, the bar is, it, it's like in the Mariana Trench in terms of where the bar is for emotional and social intelligence for a super technical person. It's very low. And for you to just have a modicum of these things, you'll be miles ahead of your peers, more than likely. So you should go and build these skills right now. So you need to go build these skills right now. Balancing your emotional and social intelligence with your technical skills or your IQ, that's gonna make you basically the holy trifecta of engineer. You're going to be a socially calibrated person with really sharp technical skills. That sounds like the dream of any manager, especially because you're gonna be able to verbalize really highly technically complicated problems in a way that your intended audience can understand. So you understand what your audience cares about and you're communicating effectively the things that matter to them not a bunch of random technical stuff that they don't care about. Now, I know if you're an engineer and you know the kind of people I'm talking about that will give you insanely detailed status reports or some presentation that really nobody cares about except for them. Now, those people could have very large contributions to the organization, and I'm not trying to say that they're not valuable, but I am trying to say I want you to have better communication skills and being able to understand yourself, how you operate inside the organization, and to really get what you want out of your career. I trust you've been paying attention to this emotional intelligence video thus far. I want to help you pay even better attention to your emotional and social intelligence by clicking the link below this video and scheduling a free call with me. On the call, we'll come up with a personalized plan for you to start getting bigger raises, faster promotions, and stronger relationships with everyone around you. Don't delay, click that link below and schedule a call with me today.